100 people attended the fundraiser. The message of the night, a fight for Detroit and fight against harmful changes coming out of Lansing, says Reverend Dr. Wendell Anthony. You cannot throw the spirit and people of Detroit out with the plans to restructure, to redesign education, to redo all the things that must be redone. Highlights from the NAACP's Fight for Freedom Fund dinner included keynote speaker Congressman John Lewis and singer Kid Rock. Kid Rock was honored for his commitment to Detroit and he brought his son on stage with him. This is by far the coolest award I've ever received in my lifetime. And it wasn't without controversy. People outside burned the Confederate flag in protest of the singer's award. Kid Rock waves the flag during concerts in the South to pay homage to Leonard Skinner. I've never flown that flag with any hate in my heart at all. Not one ounce. If you denigrate the black population someplace, you're denigrating them someplace else. He's doing that uh, as an entertainment piece. We would prefer he not do that. NAACP does not support anything Confederate, anything of the old Confederacy, nor does he. And that's when Kid Rock stole the show. His foundation donated $10,000 each to five local Detroit charities and then another $50,000 to the Red Cross for the victims of the tornadoes. I was shaking like a leaf on a tree. I never get nervous. I was shaking up there. Just, I think it was just from all the love I was feeling and trying to convey back. Kid Rock got a standing ovation and almost as if to quiet his critics shouted. I just want to say I love America. I love Detroit. And I love black people. Yeah. As you can see, the dinner was a hit this year. They hope to have more people even next year for the 100th anniversary. In Detroit, Julie Bonovich, Channel 7 Action News.